and we are live all right guys welcome to word of the day wednesdays my name is nicole d miller i am author of stories for the urban soul i'm gonna be looking back and forth here because i have facebook live going and instagram going instagram live but this is my book stories for the urban soul a compilation of short stories novellas and poetry depicting black characters dealing with relatable life issues from heartbreak to social injustices to parenting to friendship to college life a list of topics that are all relatable infused with faith spirituality encouragement think chicken soup for black people chicken soup for the soul for black people all right so you guys know every week i get on here and i talk about my latest blog post i've been doing it for over a year now so you should know this okay every wednesday night at 6 p.m eastern and so this uh week is nothing different um i did a blog post called the power of storytelling and what inspired me with this post was something that one of my beta readers for my novel said shameless plug and she said, you, you know what, Nicole, it's not that I just like your stories or your writing because you're a good writer. She was like, you're also a storyteller. And to me, that's the difference. And I'm like, really? Okay, what is that? And so she just explained it as someone that's able to just kind of engage you and pull you in and really tell a good story. And her saying that made me think of authors that I really admire and esteem. And I realized they have that ability to really um, tell you a story. And that doesn't take, you know, specialized literary education, uh, technique, you know, and all of that plot development and all that stuff. I mean, it's really just being able to capture your audience, right? So what I realized is that I am a conglomerate of so many opportunities of storytelling in my, in my um, childhood and in me growing up. So when I was little, what I realized is like I grew up off of storytelling and I didn't realize it until thinking about it. But we always was talking about how my mom and her family grew up back in the day and all the drama and all the raciness and all of the craziness that they went through. And I, you know, sometimes I got annoyed at hearing those stories over and over because you can only hear those stories so much as a kid. But now I value them since she's passed on and I value them and treasure them. And they inspire me to continue her legacy and my ancestors' legacy. So that's one facet. I've heard other people share similarly. I think in minority groups, indigenous people groups, we've just naturally been storytellers. That's how we pass down our heritage. In my blog, I reference the Bible being originally orated from generation to generation, and it's shared. Um, you know, those accounts are shared and passed on, and at some point, it was written right and. Um, the Jewish uh, people use those stories as the Torah. And so that's a huge part of Jewish heritage, Hebraic heritage, so many indigenous people's groups. And so one of the outlets too that kind of um, sewed into me as far as storytelling was, I talked about my great grandmother buying me a compilation of Bible stories. And I remember them having illustrations and I just still remember reading those stories and really loving them as a kid, as like a four or five year old. And then I talked about even like the harsher stories, right? I talked about Roots. I don't know if you guys have watched Roots as an adult. <laughs> I rewatched Roots probably last year and it like took everything in me to sit through it. I was cringing, I was crying, I was praying like, why, you know? Um, but the power, the power in storytelling and you know, we know that's from Alex Haley's uh, original novel so it's like or yeah I think it is a novel so that's that's one aspect and one uh, area that I've been the beneficiary of storytelling so in my last blog post if you have not checked it out yet it's called the power of storytelling I encourage you guys um, to read it and meditate on ways that you've been the product uh, or a beneficiary of storytelling. Do you guys have that in your family culture? I know so many of us black uh, people do and other cultures do. And the power in that, the power in telling your story. Just last month, no, actually this was August. This is how fast the time is going by. Actually it was September. In September, I did an interview with Jasmine Bailey, who is an, uh, she is a Fox 8 newscast um, newscaster and she shared her story because she's also an author of how she escaped domestic abuse and a uh, domestically abusive marriage and she escaped that whew, 
and in the in the process of her doing that she was able to share with other people how she did it and people who read her book even abusers themselves were able to see their own folly they were able to get free because she shared her story so how many of us get free from hearing someone else's story and then how many people will get free from hearing your story right so there is definitely power in storytelling i was just talking to a friend today about my own books and how what ties them all together because i have nonfiction, i have fiction some of you guys know my first book is about heartbreak my own account of healing from a broken relationship right but what ties them all together is a theme of healing i am always going to write about healing that's just one of my callings one of the things that i know that i'm gifted at and i do believe there's healing in words there's healing in stories there's power in your testimony there's power in your story so if you want to check that out that is available at nicoledmiller.com in other news if you guys are paying any type of attention to all of my platforms <laughs> all of my social media outlets you should know i am gearing up for my pre-sale for my debut novel when love wins okay when love wins is a story of two young women who have a rift in their relationship they're cousins um they're as different as night and, and day but they have a rift in their relationship based on a perceived betrayal from the past and now is the time for them to come face to face with that when natalie who is the studious faith-based uh, social justice advocate writer moves in with Ashley who is the artsy free-spirited fashionista socialite and they move in together because Natalie just lost her mom she needs support from her family but instead of finding support she finds a cold shoulder and a lot of uh, attitude and opposition from Ashley so she feels called to love on Ashley anyway and so the premise, that's basically the premise, but the name of the, the story accordingly is When Love Wins. So what happens when When Love Wins? We will find out. So check out my book cover reveal for the book. It is November 20th at 6 p.m. It's free, okay guys? No excuses, cause it's free. It's virtual, so you ain't gotta go nowhere. You just get you a glass of wine or a cup of coffee, okay? And you just chime in. Chime in on your questions. There will be a time for q and A. I'll be sharing the inspiration um, for the book cover, as well as inspiration from the for the book, because there's been a lot. It has a lot of themes. It has, of course, themes of faith, because that's why I am. But it has touching on mental health issues, and this is dealing with the younger generation, the early twenty somethings. So I think it'll be really relevant for them. But, you know, mental health issues, depression, anxiety, cutting, which we don't talk a lot about in the black community, deals with grief recovery. As I shared my own losses, I was able to kind of um, reflect that through my characters and get more healing for myself through that experience. And parent-child relationships. Ooh, we all love those, right? So there's a lot. Sisterhood, friendships, and of course they're going to be kicking and having fun because that's just me. So anyways it is an urban christian fiction must read <laughs> all right so i'm gonna let you guys go i'm actually headed out to a networking event if you guys are not hip ignite with light is having an event tonight in beachwood check out their page and i will see you next week if you want to learn more go to nicoledmiller.com oh and if you want to get a ticket for the book cover launch go to my link tree on instagram at htohb